Hey, my lovelies, it is an exciting day because today we start the Onyx Off-Road Build Challenge. Finally, I know. Now, when I introduced you to my 2002 Jeep Liberty Biberty Sheila the last time, I actually explained to you why I chose this vehicle for the competition. Two main reasons, really. Super affordable, and I really feel like I don't need to touch the drivetrain. It's a really good, solid drivetrain on there. You're going to notice the other teams are switching drivetrains, bodies, frames, all of that going on. And honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from some master fabricators like Rudy, Paul, Robbie, Colt, Nate, and Bleeping Jeep. But I highly doubt if you were given $20,000, you would be doing any of that. I really had three main criterias for the Jeep Liberty. The first being it had to fit within my fleet and have a purpose within the fleet. Second is I want to actually enjoy wheeling this outside the competition. And the third being I wanted to build something that you guys could easily replicate. Let's look at the budget. We have that $20,000 budget that everyone was given. And let me tell you, I'm probably going to have the most realistic budget out of everyone in the competition. There's not going to be any Facebook marketplace surprise deals. And I'm not taking parts out of piles that I've had for absolutely years. And I promise you this, you are going to be able to find any part that I put on Liberty Biberty for a very similar price. Not only that, I'm gonna come in under budget. Not because I'm trying to come in under budget, but the build that I'm doing, it's just gonna be that realistic. And I'm pretty sure it's the way that you guys would do this. Okay, because I'm planning on building this to take on some harder trails, I am actually gonna spend a couple more dollars in places that you guys probably wouldn't and probably shouldn't, to be honest with you, but I'm going to explain that along the way. All right, I have written everything down on the budget on the actual car and broken it down into sections. So let me spin you guys around. Hoping this doesn't glare too much, but we were all given $20,000 as you guys know. My allowable spend money though is $21,750. And that's because I won a challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave that link in the description below to that episode from Onyx Off-Road. Definitely go check it out and see exactly why I got an extra $1,750 to spend. But let me switch you around again. We're gonna start with the new items. I bought wheels for $17.50, coilovers for $19.50. And by the way, just a reminder, if you're an elite member for Onyx Off-Road, you actually get exclusive discounts with our elite partners, Fox being one of them. A winch I got for $452. Again, another elite partner with us. Uh, brake lines, $200, outer axer seal, $180, fuel cell, $1,392. Ball joint deletes, don't worry, I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing them. That's one of the things that I'm going to do, but you guys don't have to do or wouldn't have to do if you didn't really want to. Um, they're going to be $535. And then knuckles, again, another thing I'm going to explain to you, $810. Not too bad because I did get some of those discounts because I'm an elite member of Onyx Off-Road and you guys could too. So let's now move on to used items. So I have used axles, a Dana 44. I priced that at $3,550. I'm gonna be rebuilding some drive shafts that I already have, $550. Springs, $360. 
tires, $1,250. And again, I'm gonna be rebuilding a steering box for $575. Seems pretty fair so far, right? It doesn't seem like out of the norm. That seems kind of okay. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. And then let me move you on to the exempt stuff. This is stuff that I don't have to pay for. I did put prices on everything so I know where I'm at. But the exempt items are use suspension seats. I'm actually gonna be using the ones from Mischief Maker, $500. Spare shafts. 925 is because I am going to be bringing chromoly shafts with me. Tubing for the cage, $1,200. Sheet metal, $600. And shop supplies, $800. All in all, I think that's a very fair price at the moment. There may be more, there may be less. What's going to happen is that Ian is actually going to be visiting us in a couple of weeks and filming for Onyx Off-Road. And he is going to go through all of my budget and see if things are fair, if I need to put uh, a bigger dollar amount on something or a lesser dollar amount on something. So really, this is just what I think it is. All of the new parts though, obviously I have receipts for, and um, yeah, then it's up to good old Ian Johnson from Big Tire Garage to make up his mind what the used dollar price on everything is. I actually laid everything out that I have for this vehicle. Used and new. So here's the steering box that we're just gonna rebuild. Um, the axles right here that came out of a JL. I have some work to do on those for sure. I'm going to be trussing those. I have all the joints. Uh, this is going to be part of my suspension right here where my foot is. Obviously the worn winch I have right there. Wheels and tires. I'm loving this combo. And then I have coilovers right here. I hope you agree with me when I say this is all pretty doable if you were given $20,000 to build up a vehicle. Now I have acquired a little bit of a team today to take Liberty Biberty apart so I'm gonna head on outside and tell them that they are free to come in whenever but let's really dig in to this build. Here we are. Stimpy! Everyone knows Stimpy. Walter! Everyone loves Walter. Woo! And Marlon. Yeah, the party boy. All right, guys. It's time to tear into her. Okay, let's go have some fun. So, so here we're having a bit of a problem right now because this is a unibody. This is the first unibody I've ever worked with and uh, I'm trying to figure out a place where to put the front arm for the lift. Bearing in mind all the weight is in the front. So uh, right now I can figure out how to get the second half of the vehicle secure, just not the front half yet. So you having fun, Stim? The ground's cold and it feels good. <laughs> weird to me that there isn't a f like a frame there's no frame I know many of you guys have like started with like XJ's and unibody vehicles this is my very first one and I'm just finding it super weird and crazy to look at right now so weird so everything needs to come out of here huh even the tank Oh, 
Okay, question for you guys. Do we think that this spare tire has been on since 2002? have a, a tow part here. I don't know what this is towing, but 5,000 Oh, we still have it. Perfect. Maybe, maybe we can tow a, a Tacoma? <laughs> okay, a very quick question for the front team here. Yeah. How much do you think this can tow? 1,500 pounds. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna say 4,500 pounds. 5,000 pounds. Yeah, what can the brakes actually stop? 1,500 pounds. Just cause it says you <laughs> can doesn't mean you should, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we just figured out from these guys back here that it can tow 5,000 pounds. What are you towing with it? A lawnmower. Yep, a lawnmower with a okay. trailer. Uh, jet skis. I like, I like jet skis more than a lawnmower. Yeah, a trailer, a lawnmower. Awful. So Marlon and I have been working on the rear end. Walter and Stimpy have been working on the front end and Stimpy found us some things. So, well, since I was disassembling the front end, we realized <laughs> there was not full disclosure for our thousand dollar purchase on the Jeep. This has been in a front end collision. You can see the car supports pushed way back Oh here. my gosh. Yeah, they did a doozy. You can wow. see it right in here. Yeah, that's the one that I first saw. And you know what? I got this for a thousand dollars because of other things. I feel like I could have got this for five hundred. Do you think? I I, I think I think you way overpaid, maybe even four hundred. All right, Sheila has some worth. Come on now, give her some dollar signs on here. Well, the cheaper it is, the better the price. It's buy. true. You never know what you're gonna find on these things, so. This is pretty interesting. How are you guys getting on in the front? I found out that four bolts are going to drop this entire drivetrain out of the front of this thing. Oh my gosh. So now gosh. we're just, you got to just undo the upper arm. Okay. Get this ball joint done. And yeah. And then we're going to put jack under it and lower the whole thing out of here. Heck yeah. Walter, how are you feeling about it? You keep saying it's so clean. Pretty good. It is clean. It's nice. I'm looking, I mean, it'll be nice to work on once everything's taken off of and you're adding. Yes.
How are you feeling about uh, everything? Good? Yeah, everything's fine. It's coming out, it's coming out really, really quick. Yeah? yeah? Heck yeah. We can make it happen. <laughs> We're pretty much ready to drop the rear axle, but what we're doing is we're cutting these brackets right here. We're not going to be using these at all, and that's where the wishbone is right here. So uh, we've undone nut and bolt here on the top of the wishbone, and then it's attached to the top of the axle. So as soon as we get these cut off, we should be able to lift the car up, and we should be free of a rear axle. <laughs> A little this way, a little driver. Driver. Keep going in, keep going in, keep going in, keep going in. Keep going in because the weight's on the other side too. A little more. Yeah. Keep going. Good. Right there. Watch it. You give it up. You're up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go really, really slow just to make sure. <laughs> it was pulling the whole boater out there. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of motor mites, but I'm gonna let these guys grab some food and drinks first, though, before figuring out what on earth. I can see there's like some clips and stuff. Let's go eat something. Cool down a little. Have a wee iced drink, if you will. All right, we've just finished eating, but Marlon and Luna are off to the Rubicon. So they have to go and get their own lives organized and sorted. So as, as much as I want them to stay and continue doing this, because this is really exciting, you guys are gonna have a phenomenal time next We'll be week. back to help you. Yeah, we'll be back. I did tell you guys that I was going to explain why I'm going to be spending a couple more dollars on things that you might not want to or have to. Mine are the ball joint deletes and the knuckles. So I'm going to be switching those aluminum knuckles out to steel knuckles. I want it to be super strong and honestly I would have done this after the competition so why not do it now? I'm still within the budget. And the ball joint deletes, again, just stronger. I, this is like a next best thing to having a kingpin, which I don't have. Okay, Walter and Stimpy have been working their behinds off on the front whole area. Uh, Marlon and I managed to get the rear done, but there's a reason why we couldn't just drop the front axle out. Stimpy is going to tell us what is going on. So in my infinite <laughs> wisdom, I thought I could just take these four bolts out and drop the differential and everything out of the car. Well, unfortunately, this, this assembly is also part of the motor mounts right up above mm -hmm. this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this cross member a little shallow right here, and it'll be the perfect base for a skid plate to protect the oil pan. 
Then we're gonna come up here, we're gonna take the, the rack and everything out of this area here. Yep. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut this so that we can use it as a, as, as a skid plate. We've gotten the struts all out. We've gotten everything out of here. We're gonna start grinding and plating the, the uni, uni, uh, body. Then uh, it's gonna be uh, straight axled and, and badass. They're really, really thin. You guys have done an incredible job in the front so far. So let's get the last of this done today and wrap it up. I'm just gonna, I'll just cut that. I'll just cut that. It would be good. activities right all right everyone has gone home the shop is a shambles i managed to wipe myself down as much as i can and i'm so happy about how much work we have managed to get done so far the guys were incredible we had an awesome time and look what i did i put the tires in the wheel wells the vision that I had is starting to come to life a little bit and it just gives me so much motivation. I will say, I was thinking of completely cutting the top off and doing like a really cool cage. I'm still gonna do the really cool cage. I'm not gonna cut the top off because everything else I have is open concept and why not spoil myself a little, okay? I have to be on the highway with this. So I'm thinking, Let's just keep it in close. It's gonna be phenomenal. Okay, I do have a question for you guys though. Uh, I know on my list I did have a fuel cell up on there, but uh, the stock fuel cell is really, really good. What I could do is make a basket for this and just lift it on up there through the tub in the back, which I would have been doing anyway for a fuel cell. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure that you click the link below for Onyx Off-Road and vote for Liberty Biberty Sheila. Vote every single day. We are doing really good. This is really the first video that we put out by building her, so I can't thank you guys enough. But I'm gonna go home, spend time with the boys, have a cup of tea, and as always, thanks for watching.